Hello boys and girls, Stink Foot Outdoors. We're here in northeastern Oklahoma, second week of March, it's about 50 degrees outside. We're up here looking for a uh, rather unusual fish, prehistoric fish, it's uh, called the American Paddlefish, uh, AKA the Spoonbill, AKA the Oklahoma Marlin. Uh, you know, we're here on the Neosho River and we hear they're spawning and we're coming up trying to catch them. You know, it's, they say it's mostly males, but we'll see what we can do. Y'all right. stay easy. All right, what you're gonna need, uh, this is the tools of the trade here. We got a bank sinker. You can use four or five ounce, just depends on the current, where you're fishing, whatever, four, five, six, whatever. This is a four ounce. Then we got your barbless treble hook, tan -ot. The reason it's barbless is the, you know, it doesn't hurt the fish as much and stuff, and that's the law of the state. Must be barbless, but 10 knot treble, that's the way to go. All right, so then the tackle that we're using here, either you got a big spinning reel, this here is a Spin Fisher V9500. It's a little bit overkill for here, 55 pounds of drag, but it's got 65 pounds of braid. That's a good size use, 50, 65 pounds. A uh, more popular reel, especially around here, is the bigger Abu Garcia's. This is a 9,000 big game. Uh, they don't make it anymore. It's probably one of the best reels ever made for this, but uh, they still make the 7500s, the blue yonders, that, but the, either a great big bait, or not a big bait caster, but a, a solid substantial bait caster with 65 pound braid or a big old spinner reel, 65 pound braid, because you're making 70 to 100 yard casts. The rods we're using are 12 foot meat hunters. Uh, the yellow ones are the customs, that's Brandon's. And uh, the multicolored ones are the Meat Hunter Extreme. They are good priced rods. I mean, we use them for red fishing, surf fishing. I've talked about them in several videos already. Uh, you can't go wrong with a Meat Hunter. I mean, you can't. Meat Hunter 12 foot is the way to go. One piece, fireplace. That's a spoon grease before. It's in the mouth. go boys and girls that's how it's done just throw it out there and get one and don't take much to it when they're in so pretty small one anyway I'd say about 20 pounds we're looking looking for something a lot bigger oh this one wrapped up I wonder it couldn't be so easy so I can show people. There's the mouth thing, plankton eater. No teeth. A big bill, they call it that the rostrum. Open the mouth. Keep, keep me in the Open film. Open the mouth. Open huh? the mouth. Yeah. So you can see down in there, because yeah. we couldn't see in there. Oh yeah, keep me in the footage, yeah. So we got the mouth, plankton eaters. They got the bill, the rostrum, and we'll let that one go back to swim another day. If you go, on your way, buddy. Damn, dude, the river's coming up. Cause it's shallow right there now. Look how slow that one's swimming. No, it's not. I can't do that left handed stuff. Look, his is on the right hand side too. That's because this is a big surf. No, I'm right handed. I reel with my right hand. There you go. <laughs> Pulling some drag. Don't break it. 
pull a drag. Oh man, I think I finally got a solid fish. Or his tail hook. Man, you see when that one hit? I'm not that cold. Got that one on the first pull. No, that's a big ass fish. No, that's a big ass fish. That's why it pulled all that drag. Hang on.
Almost. Almost. Hey, remember the walking stock, bro? <sighs>